I'm going to ask everyone to go ahead and, and uh, take your seats and um, welcome back for session uh, four. Uh, I, I apologize in advance to all the Philly folks out there, but uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so, sorry, sorry about that. But uh, I, just as a word of advice, don't bet against Patrick Mahomes when he actually has a functioning offensive line. <laughs> That, that, would, that would be my uh, advice. So uh, I am uh, Roy Jensen, and I'm the Vice Chancellor and Director of the University of Kansas Cancer Center and the William R. Jewell, MD, Distinguished Kansas Masonic Professor of Cancer uh, Research. And um, in this afternoon's uh, session, we're going to um, pick up on a number of the topics that were introduced um, in earlier uh, sessions, and uh, maybe give them a little bit more of a, uh, a practical um, uh, treatment. And um, it, one of our first speakers is actually going to be uh, uh, Meet Tai uh, from the University of uh, Florida Research, and she is the foundation uh, professor there, associate director of the Nelms uh, Institute for the Connected World and Professor in the Computer and Information uh, Science and Engineering Department uh, there at the University of Florida. And she's going to talk about um, some of the uh, ethical uh, aspects of, of AI and how we can potentially um, uh, mitigate the fact that just about every time that we introduce a technology, there is an inherent disparity. Um, in society around that technology is witnessed by the fact that there's a lot more billionaires than busboys uh, on SpaceX flights. And that's just one example. It's, uh, and it's certainly also true, unfortunately, uh, for, uh, for medicine. And she's going to talk about how potentially we can design systems that uh, mitigate that from the get-go or at least shorten uh, the curve in terms of the benefits uh, to the greater society. And then we're going to hear from uh, Michael uh, Laposada, uh, who is the uh, professor and chair of the Department of Pathology at the University of Texas uh, Medical Branch. And uh, Dr. Laposada um, moved to uh, UTMB a few years ago and is in the process of implementing an integrated uh, diagnostics uh, group, and he's going to talk with us about some of the um, uh, issues that are involved in really uh, taking an institution and moving it uh, towards uh, an integrated uh, diagnostics uh, system. And he's made a lot of progress there and, and uh, look forward to hearing about that. Now, the next two talks are a bit of a shift um, in focus. In the first um, talk following Dr. Laposada is uh, from Dr. Rena Phillip. And uh, she is the Associate Director for uh, Biomarkers and Precision Oncology at the Oncology Center for Excellence uh, at the FDA. And one of the things we have touched on but haven't gone into much depth is the fact that um, AI, uh, with AI, we enter a whole new realm of regulatory science and how do we properly regulate a product that by its own nature changes uh, with practically every data point uh, we collect? How do we ensure that it continues uh, to provide uh, value and um, it you know, adheres to the first principle of medicine, which is uh, first do no harm? And then finally, um, and, um, you know, perhaps this is uh, kind of the, uh, uh, one, one of the key uh, talks is uh, how do we figure out or how do payers figure out uh, coverage determination? Because unfortunately, uh, in our society, that drives uh, far too many uh, decisions uh, in healthcare. And when you have an evolving uh, technology, uh, that we're still working uh, to perfect, you know, how do you decide uh, when something is, is ready uh, for uh, reimbursement. 